Pina Colada. Why does the, the beer fridge comes on every single time. I, Pina Colada Milkshake IPA. 6% absolutely mouthwatering deliciousness. It's not even fair. It's like I'm on a beach in Mexico all of a sudden. Oh, oh man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Donovan, I like beer. And this past week, daylight savings time ended. So it's about to get really dark really early. It's gonna get really cold. We're gearing into winter and I am just not ready for that. So I'm gonna reminisce about the good times in Penticton, British Columbia and think about sunny days by the beach and checking out some breweries. For those of you that don't know, Penticton is located along the Okanagan Valley in southern British Columbia and it is right in between Skaha Lake and Okanagan Lake. This is a very cool spot to check out in the summertime because there's a beach, there's vineyards, there's mountains, there's hills, it's hot. You can go floating in between Okanagan Lake and Skaha Lake on this little nice tube ride. There's a lot of things to do in Penticton and it is not near as busy as the beautiful city of Kelowna, about an hour, hour and a half north of there. So Penticton is great and it's kind of known for a lot of the wineries that are in the Naramata region, you know, just northeast of the town or city of Penticton. And it's been wine country for so long, but now there's about nine different breweries in the Penticton area. It kind of makes for a really good spot to go and check out if you're into beer. And I am, I like beer. I like beer a lot. We hit up five breweries in Penticton and four of them are right downtown, all within walking distance of one another. And it really makes for a perfect kind of walking tour, brewery tour kind of day. So I highly recommend hitting up for just in one day alone, you know, spot to spot to spot to spot. So let's get into it right now. Number one, Neighborhood Brewing. Neighborhood Brewing is a really cool spot. It looks like they opened up quite recently, maybe 2018, 2019. And I think they had a pretty big budget. You walk into this place and it is just brand spanking new. It's massive. There's big halls. There's a beautiful outdoor space. There's some TVs and a big up, upstairs space up there to host parties or events and, and have the football game or baseball game on in the background. It looked to me like they had a really cool selection of food there. I could see that being a very popular spot for people to go out for, for dinner and for drinks. Um, all in all, just a really cool spot. And I really enjoyed the outdoor patio space. You can just have a beer and overlook. And you're right there on the street people are walking by. It's great for people watching, great flights. Um, I would have to say that my favorite beer from there is was the New Zealand Pilsner. It was absolutely amazing. Right beside Neighborhood Brewing is Bad Tattoo. Bad Tattoo I had heard the most about before going to. I heard that their pizza was unbelievable and it was kind of well known for their pizza. And after walking in, sitting down, like every single table at Bad Tattoo, has a pizza stand. So you know that they must be pretty good at pizza if every single table has a pizza stand. This brewery, along with a few others, had a really cool outdoor area that I am assuming was built in part of COVID so they could serve more people at the brewery outside. It was wide open, there was a food truck in there, they had a nice uh, kind of outdoor tap room, lots of tables, green artificial turf, grass. I think there is a few games going on there. Great for outdoor. I'd say both the interior space and the exterior space were both really good. Number three. Number three was Cannery Brewing. So Cannery, they had a really nice interior and exterior place. It was quite big. I've since seen Cannery Brewing like all over the place. You can buy it here in Calgary. You can buy it all across BC. I don't know how far east they expand, but um, they got some really good beers. Outdoor space was really awesome. Again, I think they built it up because of COVID and getting more people outdoors. Um, loved the spot. They actually had a flute style beer glass that I've been looking everywhere for and picked it up. I couldn't be happier. Beer looks so good in this glass and it's, it's a great flute 
beer glass and they're just hard to find so I'm happy that I got one there. Thanks Cannery. Slackwater Brewing. Slackwater Brewing was different in such a cool way. They had a perfect location downtown on a corner sign here sign over there rooftop patio basement patio um, it was busy we had to wait for about half an hour to get in and when you walk in you go through the swag room and everything is just so well lit you can see all of the big mentors and bright tanks in the back you can see that it was you know you could go upstairs to the upstairs patio that was closed at the time but we were with a bunch of people at the time we got a nice big table and everyone had some flights and tried all the different beer and that one was just that one that one kind of stuck out a little bit slack water was really cool you could see they had live music i think they had some really cool food there as for my favorite beer it was a what the fog hazy ipa it was just a simple citrusy hoppy delicious hazy and uh i do not remember how strong it was it was great slack water awesome number five was tin whistle brewing I like Tin Whistle Brewing. I really do. It's not very close to downtown. It's still not far away. It's not that big. Penticton isn't that big of a town. When we went, the only other people that were there were just leaving. So we walk in and we basically had the whole brewery to ourselves. We were with the owner. His name is Tim or one of the owners. I think him and his wife own the brewery and it was just so cool. He was just such a nice guy and it felt in a cool way we were in his living room because he's just like running up and down the stairs like hey what do you guys want to listen to down there and you know he's changing out the record player and then he's in the back getting us some beer and then he's out over here and i don't know just to talk to some of the owners of these places yeah i think you maybe get a little more of an intimate experience at that brewery i think we tried every single beer that they had we got two big flights I think if we were able to guess what beer or if we were able to guess all of the beers on the flight correctly, like all 10 or 12 of them, we got like 20% off our order and we were able to do that. I mean, I think we got one wrong or we one was on the fence and he still gave it to us anyway. We were, we were on our way. We were driving out to Tofino and he had a bunch of cool recommendations on where to stop, some cool places to check out on Vancouver Island. And all in all, I mean, you walk out of there and it just felt like that's a really cool brewery. I like those guys. As for their beer, uh, their, their peach ale, I could totally see how that's by far their most popular beer because that's one of the best peach ales I think I've ever had in my life. It wasn't my favorite for that brewery, however. They had their Lookout IPA, which was one of the best IPAs I think I've ever had. And all in all, they, they just brew really good beer. Really cool spot. Highly recommend Tin Whistle Brewing. After trying all of these breweries in such a beautiful part of the world, I, I fell in love with Penticton. I really did. The, the beach, the food, the people, the atmosphere, everything just felt like I was right where I was supposed to be and I couldn't recommend Penticton enough. I will go back to visit my grandma and while I visit grandma, I might have to sneak over to Highway 97 Brewing, Detonate Brewing, Giant Head Brewing, Band and Rail Brewing Company. Looks like it's kind of up towards Naramata. That's something new. I can't really find out a whole lot about them, but I think they're opening soon. That about does it for Penticton. We're gonna continue moving west and check out a few spots on Vancouver Island on our road trip to Tofino. So if you're interested, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We'll get you some, some updates on some of the breweries out west. Feel free to like, give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked what you saw. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah.